students of plant ecology a course which i am teaching at goa university department of botany they are studying a wild flower plant community at the goa university campus on a beautiful day during august 2010 there is a construction which is going on here which is constantly disturbing the shooting of this video films so the viewers will have to excuse us because we can't help it lots of these developmental things are disturbing the natural settings we have got monsoon clouds piled up in the sky in the distance we can see the all india radio transmission towers in the distance and uh, the rain water in water harvesting uh, project of goa university is close by here so with these settings let us turn our attention to what these students are doing so uh, could you tell me now in the what exactly you are looking at and writing in that uh, this one what are you doing i am writing species of different type of flowers which type of flowers you are observing in this community Uh, this 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 uh, violet one this is violet utricularia reticulosa okay what is its property it is insectivorous plant insectivorous plant means uh, how you define it what does it do huh? what does it do so it will trap the insect for the nutrition what from where it will get insects which by accidentally which will come to pollinate the irecolon they will land over to the utricularia and then so which are the which are irecolons which is here can you point out which you can see is the irecolon i see what is the species do you remember sedgwickia sedgwickia yeah. how common it is in india anybody knows how common it is does it come only during monsoon or you see I see. Is it endangered or something? No, this species white. So, Lena, what are you watching? So, uh, in my 10 cm quadrant, so I have seen the irregular. What is a quadrant? So, it is a square where the uh, we fix a small. You have prepared any quadrant to measure anything? Yes, sir. Can you show? Ah, uh, Hindu is passing you a quadrant. Okay, you have got your. What is the size of that uh, square? Ten centimeter by ten centimeter. So how you place it and take the? Sir, this way we are just randomly placed. Ah. And to see that uh, uh, how the density of irregular or irregular is. Yeah. So why you do it? What is the purpose? Just to check, sir, uh, to uh, which is dominating, whether irregular dominating or irregular dominating in this case. So what you found in your uh, observation? That uh, irregular is dominating in this place. So what you found in your observation? That irregular is dominating in this place. Okay. Sonali, what are you observing? Sir, so, I am randomly checking for the one of the species which are more dominant and which are coming by the state. So, what is the meaning of dominance according to you? Why a particular species is dominating in this plant community of wildflowers here? Maybe the first in first season, which dominant species comes due to the pollination. Then after the second, second season, the other species will come, which is due to the pollination. You have to speak loudly. Can't hear. There is a breeze here, light. So right now you feel that Irio Kaolon is dominant species in your quadrant. Jessica, do you confirm what she has observed? Yes, sir. What is your finding? What is your observation? Hmm. What has happened to Mudalia? M variety. Is it showing its presence or it has folded? Hmm. But why the flowers are not seen? Why they are closed? What is the reason? Anybody knows? So maybe these are light sensitive. Ah, you feel they are light sensitive and they need more light. Then they open, so they are photosensitive. You mean? No. What is the meaning of that photosensitivity, Pranali? Any any idea you have? What are you doing there? What are you watching and recording? Hmm. Not flowering means she says that they are photosensitive and they are closed, isn't it? Yes. 
Everybody, anybody has got any open flower of M. Righty? What is the reason you feel less light? Or they are they are there for only half day. Morning they are open. Have you seen this phenomenon before? Yes, yes. So what is the relevance of such phenomena, Teja? Photosensitivity of certain species of wild flowers. Why they show this sensitivity? Do you see any pollinators by chance in this patch? It's quite a big patch. Anybody has estimated the size of this patch? Anybody has done any study? What is the size of this triangular patch? Anybody has any idea? 20 meters huh? Approximately 20 meters square. 20 meters at the base. Yeah. Okay, and the side, it is like an equilateral triangle. So in this, uh, what you, what pollinator activity you are watching now? Is, are the, is there any pollinator activity? Yes, okay. yes. What type of pollinators you see? Bees. What is the frequency of pollination? Are they very choosy or something means they are uh, only some uh, few selective this one specimens they are visiting or they are visiting randomly? And what about uh, utricularia? Do you think any insects being attract attracted to utricularia? Because here we can see right in the middle a big patch of uh, utricularia, isn't it? Can you see that? Yes. Right in the middle. Is there any reason that you find the part of plant community structure, like very close to Lina, also I see a patch of uh, utricularia, yes. isn't it? So what is the reason uh, according to you, why utricularia is uh, less and why it is coming with coming up with area of kaolon? What could be the reason according to you? What do you feel? Yeah. Hmm. So, would you call such a phenomenon an opportunistic uh, presence? Yes, it is opportunistic. So, you mean to say that uh, Utricularia is not the uh, original, uh, you know, member of this community. It has come by chance. Yeah, it may, it may be so. Yeah. So, you feel that basically this community is belong. It belongs to Erio Kaolo. And what about that other one flower which you don't see? Uh, so that is also dominant, you, you feel. So, Jessica, what do you feel? What is the purpose of this type of study, you feel, in ecology? Why we do this study? To find the relative abundance of the plant. Yeah. And to study the pollination biology. Mm -hmm. So you can see pollination in action right now. What do you feel, Sonali? Why all this exercise you are attempting? You know what is the future of this plot? You feel it will be conserved or it will disappear in few years? Is there any future for this plot? Because do you think it is a fragmented uh, habitat? Do you think it was part once of larger habitat? Yeah, it is a fragmented habitat, sir. Because I see here uh, smaller patches also. As I pan the camera, you can uh, the viewers can see there are smaller patches here, which were. Uh, now I am coming back to the same plot, but. In the previous, this one, uh, one could watch now the fragmentation. So you feel that this was a part of a larger, uh, larger area, yes. and it is now got restricted. But then, how do you explain a excellent, uh, good community structure? Then, what is the reason? If it is a smaller patch, still you see very good density, isn't it? What do you feel, Hindu? Why the why why there is still a healthy density of Erio Kaolon and then M Righty and. Uh, Seed banks, you feel it was present in the soil. What do you feel, Pranali? Why you are still having good density of flowers here in this small patch? Is it because of size or something? Hmm? Uh, this you feel is still undisturbed area, and other uh, smaller patches are disturbed. So, how long you feel, Teja, it will be remaining undisturbed? Jessica, what do you feel? Do you think that such type of areas, which are excellent models for study, needs to be conserved? Yeah. Why? What is the rationale behind it, you feel?